Automobile safety used to require repeated crash tests, an expensive, time-consuming way to make progress. Then, computing advances in the 1980s enabled automobile safety engineers to begin simulating car crashes, saving time, money, and lives. In 1992, the U.S. Department of Transportation partnered with the George Washington University to establish the National Crash Analysis Center to lead the way in this emerging field of computer simulated crash test systems. The result is we, we helped uh, the government to do analysis on the technical issues uh, regarding to rules and regulations in transportation safety. We also helped uh, industry to develop uh, uh, tools uh, for research and also for applications. NCAC's partnerships with government, academia, and industry have made it one of the leading research centers for advanced transportation safety in the world. We have continuously worked with George Washington University over the 15 years and undertaken a whole variety of projects uh, over that period of time. Working with George Washington University has helped us improve our understanding of consumer safety. It's hard to imagine a greater impact that academic research could have than saving lives. And if we can do that in a way that brings together industry, government, and the expertise of our faculty, then I think we're doing something that really fulfills our mission as a premier research university. The NCAC uh, was initially created to promote the idea of using advanced technologies for crash analysis. Uh, one of the big uh, areas was the use of crash uh, modeling, of finite element modeling and crash simulations uh, to be able to look at crashes in great detail without having the bear, to bear the cost of uh, crash testing. When a crash test is performed using a real car, it can only be done once. But when high-powered computers analyze a finite element model, the possibilities are limitless. We're basically doing a reverse engineering process where we take an intact vehicle and we take it apart piece by piece and each piece is then scanned into the computer and then rebuilt as a finite element model. NCAC research teams create exhaustively detailed models that often comprise as many as a million individual elements. We uh, certainly can do far more robust analysis uh, with the, the simulation models and we can look at things in ways that we've never been able to look at before. Uh, the software, for example, allows us to isolate parts and look at how certain parts interact in a crash. For testing, you can only do it once or twice, but for computer simulations, you can do it many, many times over to analyze different scenarios to come up with the uh, best uh, optimized design scenario for the safety devices. By making all of its computer models accessible to the public, NCAC is transforming the way safety research is being conducted worldwide. Once we're able to create the final element model, it'll be available on our website for the public domain, and automotive companies can go and download the model and then use it in their computer simulations instead of having to actually go out and run crash tests. NCAC's partnerships with major manufacturers include BMW, Daimler AG, Ford Motor Company, General Motors, Honda, and Hyundai Motor Company. At the Hyundai, uh, we want to continue to build our brands and orient our operation around safety. This is a very key association with George Washington University. There is a credibility with being associated with uh, leading research university. This is not a corporate research lab. It is one that assembles government, academia, and the private sector. So it means our research is not only valuable to Hyundai, but also valuable to global public. NCAC analysis helps government and industry better understand injury risk, including vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle collisions, rollover safety, injury causation, automatic crash notification systems, restraints performance, and child safety. One of the things 
that I have been able to do as a consequence of the experience I've had is to define projects that need solving. And so consequently, that's what I try to do with, the, with my students. I try to define things that are worthwhile, things that are interesting, things that are challenging. Working under Dr. Diggs has been a great experience because he brings the expertise uh, and experience of being in the government side of uh, the automotive industry for the last 20 or 30 years. Any area of research that, that he can focus on, that he can see benefit, he tries to promote. And so he's a wonderful influence on the students. The work that Joseph has been doing deals with my project on far side occupant protection. My thesis is on uh, far side occupant motion, which means if you're on the driver's side, you're hit on the, the passenger side. How does, how does the driver move um, during that accident? It has been an area that has never really been explored. And so consequently, there is very little known about how you go about protecting a far side occupant. So it's um, re different restraints that need to be used, uh, different airbags. And so we use the resources that are at George Washington University and are unique to George Washington University to do projects of interest. And I do not give projects that are not important projects. Whatever you do as a student will be a contribution to automobile safety. Approximately 35 percent of accidents involve vehicles hitting roadside structures. NCAC analyzes structures such as guardrails, signs, and other fixed objects with the ultimate goal of improving roadside hardware design and safety performance. The uh, staff of the NCAC is under a contract with the Office of Federal Lands to develop a new type of end treatment for what they call a steel back timber guardrail system. The simulations have uh, been used to look at various design options and this is the design that the simulation said worked best but there's always this need to link the the simulation or the cyber world to the real world so the, for the first time a device of this nature is being built and that's why they are, are tweaking it a little bit here as they go we will use this uh, pendulum device here which has a uh, 4500 pound weight on it It'll be pulled up and swung into this uh, barrier system and it'll simulate a crash of about 25 miles an hour of a vehicle equivalent to a pickup truck, a light half-ton pickup truck, to understand how the uh, components work with each other and see whether those um, real-world events follow what the simulation said would happen. At the end of the day, we still have to make sure the simulation results are valid. So by building a crash test facility, it can help us to validate our simulation results. NCAC research is increasingly sought by experts in a range of fields. In aviation, NCAC is exploring containment design by developing a fine element model of a generic aircraft engine for the Federal Aviation Administration. NCAC is also assisting the U.S. Departments of State and Homeland Security with its expertise in materials failure and impact analysis by designing and testing new anti-RAM devices to protect buildings. Today, NCAC stands at a decisive threshold. Soon, it will start construction of a full-scale indoor crash test facility which will be capable of material, component, and full-scale testing. These capabilities will enable NCAC to continue to be a valued advisor to government and industry. I've had some great opportunities. I've participated in some amazing research. There are some great professors here to work with. Through this partnership, we now speak the language of consumer safety better which has improved our brand and helped us cut costs. With all the resources we can bring together at our Ashburn, Virginia campus, I think there's no question that the National Crash Analysis Center will be the premier site for studying auto safety anywhere in the world.